Hello people of the Food Bubble and Boss here with another video. So this is another scratch tutorial and today I am going to teach you how to make a sort of RPG style game. So um we'll be creating a few well we'll be creating a new variable, let's call it money or cash, so let's call it cash. So at first, so um let's make it so that oh oh no not don't want to open garage band. Um, when that's clicked, hide variable cache, and then we need to get our character who will be the cat, so cat, we will call the cat player, and we just need to make the cat a little bit smaller. And first of all, it's going to ask us a question, so when that's clicked, ask what's your name and wait and then set name set name to answer so that we've already done that and all but this is just going to be so that it can use the name that you've been given set name to answer even though we didn't even have to create a variable like that but oh well Oh, sorry, my my legs are just hurting at the moment. But anyway, so when that's clicked, forever. Oh no, 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 we don't even have to do it. When this sprite clicked, say hi. Could you get me that? bowl of cheesy puffs from over there for five seconds and then I'll pay oh yeah I'll pay you pounds fifty no let's say fifteen and also what you can do is when that is clicked, let's say then it sets your cash to fifty. So now um when that's clicked forever if touching player Hide. Also, you need to create a new variable which will be cheesy puffs, which will be so that it knows if you have the cheese puffs or not. So touch and player, then hide, and then set cheesy puffs to one. So now, um, if um, If cheesy puffs equals one, no, equals zero, then it will say that. And then, um, when it, when this spike clicked, if um, cheesy puffs is more than one, it will say. Thanks. Well, no, no, no. Um, join. Thanks. Space. Name. For three seconds. Change. Cash. By. Fifteen. Alright, so first of all, what's your name? 
Um, let's say that we are called Jim. So now, when that's clicked, hi. Could you get me that bowl of cheesy puffs from over there? Also, let's just make it so you, so you can walk, so. When left arrow key pressed, pointing direction, negative 90 and move 10 steps and when right arrow pressed point in direction 90 and move 10 steps so now um, so let's just start again so what's your name let's just make it my real name so Jude Hi, could you get me that bowl of cheesy puffs from over there? I'll pay you £15, so get it. Oh, oh, fail, fail, no. Send it to that, of course, can't forget to do that. Ah, Jude. And then, finally... Oh, what? What? Let's just say that, um, let's make it so that when that's clicked, forever, if touching player, if cheesy buffs are rare, what's your name? Jude. Well, it looks like we have to restart the game quickly, so we need to do that, and then it needs to show when start is clicked. Just make you go back there. Um, Jude. Oh, that's why, that's why, that's why. Um, set Cheesy Puffs to zero. Jude. Hi. Could you give me that bowl of cheese puffs from over there? I'll pay you 15. Also, let's just change this quickly to an equals so that it's more reliable. Cheesy puffs equals 1. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, dude. And it paid me that, so just to prove that it does work, let's say that when this flight clicked, show variable cash. So now, thanks, dude. And also, we need to make it so that um, it sets cheesy puffs to zero, just to make sure that you can't cheat. Well guys, so this is how you can make an RPG style game, hope you've enjoyed, and let's see what we can make next time. Remember, leave your suggestions in the comments below on what I should teach you guys to do next, and I'll see you next time. Banana Boss, out.